Good morning. Last night, I went to a meet and greet to meet some neighbors and get to know people that lived in the same development as I did. And I was excited about going. I like a barbecue. And when I first went there, I looked around and became very nervous. My own issues about getting older and do I fit in? Like, I feel like I'm so young. I'm, I feel like I'm young at heart. And, but my age shows that I really belong in an over 55 community. And it was pretty interesting to me, my reaction. At first, I just like closed up. I felt so, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know anywhere to sit with. And I could see that people had bought their own alcohol and their own little groups with them. I didn't know one person. I got my food and I didn't know where to sit. And you know, you have to get that uncomfortable feeling. And there was a woman there that looked like she had, I guess I felt like maybe she had friendly energy. So I saw there was an empty seat at her table. And so I walked over, sat down and said, is anyone sitting here? And they're like, no, you can join us. Anyway, it was such a nice table. It was such a nice group of people. Yes, some of them were older than me, but what was really interesting is that once I calmed myself down, so the first tip is to just take a deep breath. Make sure that you bring your energy back into yourself because when you get fear, it gets outside of yourself. You need to bring your energy back into yourself. Take a deep breath. When I sat down, I made sure that I wasn't, my shoulders weren't all together, all tight. I like loosened my shoulders and I calmed down. The conversation proceeded and what I realized, if I didn't know this already, is that I really love to travel. And I asked the woman next to me, like, she said that she's traveled a lot. So I asked her, like, what was her favorite place? And the conversation went on to what is your bucket list of places you want to travel to? It was so interesting. Then the conversation went on to, you know, what was people's favorite food in different foreign places? I ended up picking a table with all travelers and such interesting people. And I got to hear their stories. And the night just flew by. It was so interesting. I loved every minute of it. And I'm so glad I got out of my comfort zone and I decided to go. And I decided to bring my best energy. Not my, oh my God, look, these people are older than me. I won't fit in. I won't have a good, I won't meet anybody I like. I have nothing in common with these people. But I brought my friendly energy. And the woman sitting next to me said to me, you won't have any trouble here making friends. So I also think the next tip that I'm going to give you is think about what you want to share with other people. What part of yourself do you want to share? I love to be helpful. And it turned out that one of the women didn't have a car. So of course I said to, well, I'm here for a few more days. If you need a lift, just here's my cell phone number. Just call me because I like being helpful. And I realized that I can't control a lot of things. I can't control the aging process, but I can control my energy throughout it. And if I don't monitor my energy, then it just gets depleted. So check your posture, check your breathing. I bought a bottle of water, so I stayed hydrated. And also, like, I got energy from these women and men that were telling their stories, telling their travel stories, telling their food stories, all the things I like. And I think that's what is, is the key, is that you can lead the conversation into an energy emoting conversation rather than a depleting conversation. And I think that's really important. I heard like at other tables, there were people talking about their illnesses and talking about other things. I was so glad I didn't sit at those tables. So I think that 
if you focus on your energy in all situations, in uncomfortable situations, in comfortable situations, I think that you could make the best of it. And I think it could be a really good experience. So now I'm off to an art show with my delicious iced coffee in a Hamilton cup. And have a really great weekend. And I'll see you on Monday morning and I'll show you what art I bought. Hopefully a really beautiful piece. Hopefully I get really inspired. I'm definitely bringing my energy. And for me going to an art show is one of those things that really, really invigorate me. So remember, your energy, your life, your control. Have a really, really good day and I'll see you.